Hi, my people. I'm Chia Rafaela from 3D Latin Art. I'm sending so many blessings for everyone. I would like to invite you to stay with me on this class. This is Clementine, my cat that I owned when I was a child. Long, long time ago. I'm doing my cat as a cartoon and I hope you like it, this class. Stay with me, don't go anywhere. My people, if you are ready, I'm ready too. So let's do it, this class. In the following steps, I will share with you my techniques such carving or sculpting in 3D gelatin. Also, I will share my pattern or contour outline technique to do this project. Just to give you an idea, I'm using a mold that is 10 inches wide per 13 inches long and two and three quarter inches deep. In addition, I use 12 cups of base gelatin, that is three liters. Now, I will use a paper towel to remove the moisture before that I place the image. Well, my people, I presented to you the drawing of my Clementine cat. To do the outline, I will use edible market color and parchment paper. I would like to recommend them to see my video of Starry Night of Vincent Van Gogh to see this step how to do the outline. On this step, just place the paper down, then center the best that you can and drop gently and wait until the image is transferred and after that remove it the paper and that's it it's ready after hitting the tool directly in the stuff do the carving or sculpting in the face from half inch to three quarter inch deep. When you do the sculpting near to the eyes, never touch them, just do it around the eyes. If you notice, I change my tool frequently, it's dependent the area and how is the carving is going on. The goal is to make the deep of the face at least half inch. When I use this tool, I use it in a high heat just to help me to do the carving or sculpting more fast. In the big areas, I can use that. You can see how the gelatin is melting little by little. This carving or sculpting is getting formed. For example, here I'm doing the same step that I teach in my ebook on the lesson of the white pico, just doing around the eye and also do the best that you can do it on this area to get that deep ready. In this area, I will sculpt half inch deep. While you are doing the sculpting, try to clean it with a tool, the edible market. Also, on this area, I will sculpt half inch. You have to practice frequently if you want to be successful on this art. As you can see, I'm already doing the bow and will be half inch deep now my friends I will start doing the hat so on this area I can use the tool very very hot 
in this area that I am sculpting right now, I will sculpt around one inch deep. And this area, I will do the carving about half inch to three quarter inch. Now my friends, I will do half inch deep here. In this area also, I will carving half inch deep. Oh my people, on this step, I'm using only the tool worm just to remove the edible color. After I clean it, everything from the edible color, I will mark the cat pupil and it's about one four inch diameter. My friends, I'm finished this carving and sculpting and when you finish yours, has to be at least close to this. I made two of this. So I invite you to you to the next video to finish this project and better impossible, really impossible. My friends, I apologize for my English accent. I'm born in Mexico and I grew up in Mexico. Sorry about that. Sending many, many blessings for everyone. I see you in the next video.